Well, one of those really good days that I promise you will be on your Sunday tomorrow. But again, this week, we've got some really good weather on the way. Monday, nice and hot, still plenty of sunshine even for Monday. However, when it gets warmer, you do increase the shower and storm chance. We're not expecting severe weather here in Charleston. There could be a storm on Tuesday that kind of extends itself a little longer brings in some more wind energy and stays around for a little bit. There could be an isolated stronger storm on Tuesday, but another warm up is on the way later in the week. A touch humid puts more moisture in with southerly winds, and that could also bring us a shower or storm chance before too much longer. But we're dry for the rest of your Saturday night. A big system in the middle of the country. Low pressure spinning around with a couple of fronts. There's moisture. There's change of wind directions. That means severe weather, including gusty winds and tornadoes. Just today, these are spotter reports from around the country. There's been at least 21 reports or sightings for say of different tornado events. That doesn't mean there's 21 tornadoes that happen. There could be less than that, but this will definitely mean there'll be some surveying and a lot of cleanup efforts in the middle of the country, even from today's severe weather. None of that here in Charleston. Sunday morning, we wake up into the 60s, a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow with southerly winds keeping us nice and comfortable well into the 80s. Make sure you wear your sunscreen. If you're like me and you got burned today, well, you might get burned again tomorrow. So make sure you wear the hat, find some shade, and drink plenty of fluids as well. It's definitely easy to get dehydrated in this type of weather, especially when our bodies are not ready for it. We restart the cycle again for Monday, 60s and even warmer by the afternoon, close to the upper 80s, maybe even 90 in a couple of locations. Now, we are looking at a weak disturbance. Our first weak front could set off a spotty shower or storm in our western counties as it progresses its way eastward closer to the Big Sandy and Ohio rivers. The better rain chance, though, comes with our second weak front early Tuesday morning. And that could allow for some of this moisture to make it in for the morning commute towards Huntington and southeast Ohio, eastern Kentucky. There, 630 into the morning. And here in Charleston, the morning round might just barely graze us or dodge us, for say. But by the afternoon, you're going to see these pop-up showers and storms still along the boundary in which one or two of them could continue for a little bit longer. And that's where we get the possibility of heavy rain, some hail, and maybe even gusty winds out of them. But another warm up comes later in the week. Look at Thursday, back to 89 there on Thursday. We're looking at another system of low pressure to make its way well north of us, and that could set off a shower or thunderstorm chance once again. But still in the 80s and 70s there for Saturday, and very comfortably hot. So definitely a change of pace here with some moisture. It kind of feels like summer, and I don't mind it.